real pressure though you feel and it's a pressurized game for all concerned but it's really on the inter because they can't afford to allow juventus to get a 10 point gap at the top if as expected juve win their game tomorrow as i say juve and milan and roma the other three sides in contention for this scudetto the italian championship playing against sides in the bottom four all expected to win tomorrow so the outcome of this one all the more important first corner of the game goes to Lazio and Mihailovic to take so much quality normally on his set pieces and looking to try and catch Puruzzi unaware a little range finder perhaps for later from Mihailovic he gets so much bend and pace on those corners and of course we all know his expertise from free kicks header won by Nesta but falls kindly here for Seedorf tracked all the way by Sensini and now Simic throw to Inter these two sides of course will be meeting in the final of the Coppa Italia this season Two leg final, first on the 12th of May and the second leg will be played at the end of the Serie A season on the 18th of May. And the European place is guaranteed by virtue of winning the Coppa Italia but both these sides will be looking to qualify for the Champions League. And remember Inter without any European club competition at all this season after a very poor performance last time out. Here's Vero. Argentinian international teammate Zanetti in attendance. But it's a good ball to Salas. Plenty waiting for the cross and away by Cordoba. Referee had a good look at that. Challenged by Sensini with Sedor. Lazio in possession. Veron with a ball in. Cut out pretty comfortably by Inter. Helped on again by Sensini. Nedved applying the pressure here to Simic, now Panucci. And here's Laurent Blanc. Exchanges passes with his fellow Frenchman, Coe. And now Veron. Nicely weighted ball for Nedved. He was rather isolated there, Pavel Nedved. Been in good form of late. And no threat on Peruzzi's goal. Zamorano nicely down to Mercoba, but it wasn't a very good pass by the Inter striker. Thump forward by Nesta. Simic with a good header. Now, early ball forward and onside here, Nedved. He's got the right side of sphere as far as he's concerned, and Panucci. Strong hands from Poruzzi. But this is the sort of form that Nedved's been in recently. That was a good save by Peruzzi. Strong hands. And the ricochet away from the interkeeper to take the ball out for a corner to Lazio. And again, Mihalovic will take. Simeone at the near post. Oh, and almost squeezed right across the face there. It was Zamorano who got it clear. Back in again by Mihalovic. Shot from Veron. And that didn't miss by too much from Juan Veron I think there might have been a flag from the referee's assistant on the far side I don't think there was any question of offside there was an Inter player left in very deep there he really got hold of it Veron and just unable to hit the target Pancaro at stretch did well to find Veron Nice look about uh, Lazio in these opening minutes. Come in for some criticism after losing here against Feyenoord and then only drawing the return Champions League game. So in need of a lift. It's a good ball from Nedved. 
Real chance here, Stankovic! Well, he scuffed it badly in the end, Dejan Stankovic. What a good opportunity. They were short of cover on the left flank of the defence here, Inter. And he just overstretched in the act of shooting, as you'll see here. Not just led to the ball going out off the offside of, outside rather, of the left boot of Stankovic. And it was a chance. Work here for Marco Gianni, Lazio goalkeeper. Veron, oh, he's done well. Found Stankovic. Again, they're short down the left. Important interception there by Simic. Oh, some lackadaisical defending by Inter. One or two players looking round at each other in quizzical mood about who's taking control. The answer at the moment is not too many in yellow shirts. Laurent Blanc with a free kick. Cordoba. Panucci with a header. Koe in there first ahead of Sincini. Continued his run, Benoit Coe, but Nesta, one of the most accomplished defenders in Italian football, a fixture of the national side at the moment, able to shepherd the ball out without any difficulty whatsoever. <laughs> Header on by Simeone, and as far as Coe, this is Rakoba. Inched out of it by Veron, such a well-balanced player, Juan Veron. Referees whistle a little early there, that's what's causing the furore from the terraces. He just didn't quite wait for the advantage, did he? Our match official, as Lazio would have had a semblance of a break on there. Has a reputation, though, for allowing games to flow. Stefano Brasci, the referee, out of the head of Laurent Blanc for a Lazio throw. It's virtual one-way traffic. This time it's off Panucci. Tankero's throw. Nedved trying to turn away from Laurent Blanc. So a little fortunate to find that touchdown for Simic. Cordoba looking for Zanetti. It's hopelessly misplaced though. Stankovic. Now Zanetti, the Inter captain. Playing at left wing back tonight because there's no uh, Yorgatos, the Greek international. Very much more at home in the centre of midfield, though, Zanetti. It's not to say he can't do a job at left wing back, but his preferred position's in the middle of the park. Negro, Ooh, a little lucky to get a second bite at that one. Veron, sweetly done into the path of Stankovic. Two players unmarked, one of them Nedved. Simeone's gone on ahead of him, here he is now. Salas trying to get a position for the pass. And he would have been onside. Had Panucci not got the touch there. And eventually the inter right wing back was fouled. Dino's off. He was a former president of Lazio before he got the national team job of Italy amongst the spectators. And here's Seydorf. Looking to run Negro. Now, was he held off? No, said the referee. Well, the Lazio right back. Veron. Trying to find a way to pass here, and he almost did for the... Ever mobile figure of Nedved. It was a little bit of a dive in by the Czech on Panucci. He wasn't best pleased by the challenge from Pavel Nedved. And was there any contact? And you make up your own mind. The referee's made up his mind and given Lazio a corner. Their third in the opening minutes here. Driven in again fiercely by Mihalovic. 
and strong hand again from Puruzzi. Nesta with time and space to pick out Pegro, and now it's with Veron. Early one in, and that's easy for Peruzzi. Inter currently enjoying their best run of unbeaten games of this Serie A season. It's come at a very opportune time for them. And this is such a big, big game for both these clubs. Veron held off by Simic, illegally so, says the referee, who's ideally positioned. to emphasise how important this match is for Lazio. They are home to Roma and away to Juventus in two of their next three matches. So this is a big, big period for Lazio, both domestically and in Europe. Veron. Inter, on the other hand, a pretty easy-looking run ahead of them. Home to Bologna, away to Lecce, home to Regina and away to Udinese. They only have Juventus at home of the title contenders after this and the rest of their season. So if they can get a favourable result here, Inter, they could really start a march towards getting right in the shake-up to possibly win their first Scudetto since 89. Sven Goran Eriksson is going at a shot there, was so close to Lazio's first championship since 1974 when they were tipped by just one point by Milan and a scintillating finish to the season last time out winning their last seven games I think it was when Lazio looked in pole position to be champions there's Lippi knows all about Scudetto's three and five years with Juve here's Nedved getting the better of Simic now Salas Laurent Blanc to pinch it off his toe not a good touch by Sadov, he's in trouble here. Panucci. Nesta in there ahead of Zamorano. Veron looking for Salas. Alert goalkeeping by Peruzzi. Good ball. Fine running too by Rakova. Good tussle on between he and Nesta. The referee said a foul against the Lazio skipper. Well, yes, there was hands in the end. There's Ravanelli. Thought there might have been a start for him tonight. But Sven Goran Eriksson opting for. A lone striker in Salas, five across the midfield. There's been plenty of those five midfielders forward so far in the early minutes. Safe hands, just from Marco Gianni. Bit of shirt tugging going on, as we saw from replay, but as I've said before in these Italian Serie A matches, they very rarely go punished. Stankovic, Wunder, on to the return from Nedved, and they just managed to slam the door shut, and it was ajar for a while there, inside that inter-penalty area. Stankovic again, or rather Negro to Stankovic. Good ball in, Nedved. Got in front of his marker, at the angle, that's a little too difficult, here was the earlier chance, Zanetti just getting there ahead of Salas. But they look uneasy at the back, Inter. This is the second opportunity. Medved getting in front of Panucci, but just couldn't angle his body for the header on target. Sensini. So too much of that to Koi. Sadov. 
Too strong for Zamorano. Veron. Forward by Tankero. Cordova. Some cool defending. Well, oh, given in favour of Inter. Or was it offside against Inter? A bit of confusion amongst the players with the decision made. But he's given it for the offside. Nesta. Sadov dispossessed by Negro, winning most of the 50-50s at the moment. Lazio! Side netting only. Well, the shot looking for the surprise element. It was from Stankovic. It may be that Pruzzi had his angles covered anyway. It was Sting behind the drive. Here come Lazio again in the shape of Nedvin. Pruzzi couldn't hold on and happy to see Ivan Cordoba ideally placed to hack it to safety. Lots of space though here for Nedved. Veron, here come Lazio again, Pancaro. And the shot is wide from Nedved. Well, he's had a good clear sight of the goal on a few occasions now. A fine play from Pancaro, the left back. And Nedved should have done better, although there was some attention here from cornerback. But he had a sight, didn't he? Well, the coach Ericsson will be well pleased with this Lazio performance. The only downside, I think, will be that he's side are not possibly a couple of goals up by now. Veron almost picking out Salas. Cover on though from Cordoba. Virtually nothing seen of Rakoba or Zamorano up front for Inter. Virtually all the possession for the side in white Lazio. But now, here's Di Biagio. Better ball, it's a real chance here, and a goal! Rekoba has got it! And would you believe that? Totally against a run of play. And the hordes who've made the journey from Milan to Rome. And the joy is unbridled on the terraces there. And the young... Uruguayan, just 23 years old, Alvaro Rakova has got his seventh Serie A goal of the season and didn't he take it well in his stride? And a sure finish beyond Marcus Gianni, fed by Di Biagio, that was the ball that made it. First touch two, added to the opportunity, hands to Marcus Gianni, but the sheer velocity of the shot, too much for the Lazio keeper, 1-0 Inter. Well, what a shocker for the Lazio players and the Rome faithful. Here's Seydorf. Trying to link with Zanetti. Veron. Oh, he didn't see Zanetti coming to pinch possession for Inter. And it's back with Lazio and Nesta. Good ball to Negro. Here's Stankovic. That's how to play, I think. It's going to be a goal kick to Inter. As we look again, a strong left foot shot from Rakova. Just couldn't divert it wide. He read the intentions pretty well, Marco Gianni. It was just the pace on the shot that was too much for the Lazio keeper. Sort of shaky defending we've seen from Inter so far. They might need the cushion of that goal. That's offside against Salas. Good decision by the referee's assistant. Torres Nedved! Oh, they got the fortune there, the ricochet. Quite whom it came off, I'm not sure. Both sides contesting the decision. Fiercely driven by Nedved. It appeared to come off Zamorano, I think. Mutsik 
conclusively from here. Yes, it's off Zamorano. The, the officials didn't see it amidst a forest of players. And that should have been a corner. Inter got the goal kick. It's back in their territory again. This is Koe to Panucci. And now Seydorf. Panucci again. And Zamorano to Koe. Now Di Biagio. Trying to lift one in. Took a little bubble, to be fair, to Luigi Di Biagio as he tried to dip one over the top for Zamorano. Quarterback. No one within 30 metres or so of that one. Koe. Lazio again hunting in packs, but Seidorf has it now. Opens it out into space for Christian Panucci. Simic is putting Seidorf under a lot of pressure with that pass. And it's overzealous tackle from Simeone. It's not the first time that phrase has been used this season. Likes a tackle, old Diego Simeone. Panucci with a free kick for Inter, who lead totally against the run of play through a 19th minute goal from Alvaro Racoba, the Uruguayan international striker. Only in tonight because of injury to Vieri. Of course, Inter still missing Ronaldo. Been out long term with a knee injury. He's been back for intensive rehabilitation recently in Brazil. He's back in full training for a little while now. There is some talk he might be back before the end of March, but certainly sometime in April, the Brazilian. Here's Pancaro. Seidor. Simeone. Nedved turning into trouble. Anywhere will do for Inter. Looks quite lively though, Nedved. Get on. Di Biagio. Well fed by Zamorano. Three forward here for Inter. Well seen by Mihailovic. What a mistake by Laurent Blanc. Here's Salas. Nedved, delayed reaction before he went down, and the referee's decision is a free kick. And well, this is danger time for Inter. Nedved just couldn't regain his balance, although he tried to do as he went over beyond uh, quarterback. And this is a real opportunity. It's almost like a penalty, this. I'm not exaggerating with Mihailovic. His quality is well known from this situation. Just about anywhere in an opponent's half is danger and red flag time when Mihalovic is over a free kick. 19 of his 25 Serie A goals have come from free kicks. And Peruzzi is well aware of the threat, the Inter goalkeeper. It'll be a major surprise if he doesn't get it on target. It's a question of whether Peruzzi can find a save. Here's Sinisa Mihailovic. The wall did its job. Negro. Stankovic. It's a throw for Lazio. Busily searching out as we head to half an hour mark in the first half for an equaliser. And they have a corner. Lots of work for Laurent Blanc and company to do at the back for Inter. Once again, Mihailovic has got a cross to take. And again, we see 
tugging of shirt and bumping and boring going on there inside the penalty area. Here's Mihalovic again. Five white shirts looking to get on the end of this. And for once, that educated left foot lets down the Yugoslav international. Well, plenty well positioned for a decent cross there from Mihalovic. Stankovic. A challenge by Cordoba on Veron. It's a foul given against Sensini. Two competitive players there, Sensini and Coe. Rakova, the man who's got the only goal so far, forward by Seydorf. There's a strong run here by Zamorano. And he'll have to settle for the corner in the end, when it might have been somewhat better for Inter. There's a good ball forward from Seydorf. And Rakova it is, a goal scorer who will come across to take the corner. Inter's first. Cordoba's got up from the back. Driven in dangerously for a moment. Di Biagio, a little unfortunate to see the ricochet come off him. But now for a Lazio goal kick. There's some menace on the corner. It's cleared by Nedved from right on the goal line. Good header forward. It will be too strong for Salas. You may well have seen it's been a disastrous week for Italian clubs in European competition. All four of their representatives in the UEFA Cup have exited the competition. It's the first time in 16 seasons that no Italian clubs got through to the last eight of the UEFA Cup. And to add to that, both their sides in the Champions League um, failed to provide a win. Here's a chance for Lazio. Nobody able to get a meaningful touch onto that cross. Lazio drew away against Feyenoord and Fiorentina lost in Spain 2-0 to Valencia. So both the Italian clubs have a lot to do to make it through to the next stage of the Champions League. Offside against Salas. Nedved got into a good position there. Tight decision against Salas, but he's again been rightly flagged. Good climb by Pankaro. Falls candy though for Sedorf. Now it's with Di Biagio. Blanc. Di Biagio again. That's no scope afforded there to the front two. Veron. Simeone's ball in. It's too strong for Salas. Life made easy for Peruzzi. But still, he's seeing most of the action at close quarters, the inter goalkeeper. Been opportunities, Nedved and Veron early on. For Lazio. Down goes Panucci. Looks in vain for the free kick. Seemed to be too much in the challenge there from Tankaro. There was one game incident he played earlier today in Serie A. And the full time score there was Bologna 1. Venezia won. Vital point for Venezia. Uh, third bottom. 
It's still three points adrift of Verona, a side just above them. So a big job on for the likes of Piacenza, Cagliari and Venezia to escape the clutches of relegation. Girls in that match, incidentally, uh, Kenneth Anderson for Bologna, Maurizio Gantz on loan from Milan for Venezia. Coet. Oh, what a mistake by quarterback. Here's Salas. One on one with Laurent Blanc here. It's Salas! And it was a pretty comfortable charge down in the end by Puruzzi. It was straight at him. Not a good finish this by the Chilean. Easy for the commentary box, but it favoured the little pass, didn't it, with the inside of the foot beyond the goalkeeper. Went for power. Rakoba. Sensini needs to find a accurate header and did so for Nedved. Well, that ball might have been out, but maybe not the whole of it. Salas. Uh, running into trouble. Long blocks. Just about as cool a customer as you could get. Barney this time. And four Sierra out of Salas. Coy. Zanetti. Space here now for Rakoba. He's coming up straight to Sensini. Now with Simeone. Forward by Stankovic, arms raised for offside, no flag arrived, but Nedved gave it up early. Simic, enjoying a good run in the side at the moment, Dario Simic, the Croatian international, Panucci, back with Simic again. Di Biagio, Zanetti free, far side, well picked out by Di Biagio. Lovely way to pass. Looked like a foul. Sedor, he thought so. Referee well positioned though. Allowed play to continue, and here's Nedved. Salas making a good run ahead of him. Well, he initially peeled out wide and then just made the little dart forward. And Nedved's pass is carrying too much weight. Not quite the accuracy for the Chilean. Here's the incident which Sedov thought he should have had a free kick. Panucci. Cordova. Panucci. Nice layoff. Di Biagio. Panucci, decent crossing position here for the inter right wing back. This is up the opportunity. Picks out Di Biagio instead. Cordova. Good defending from the front by Lazio. Veron and Salas involved there. Simeone. Good tackle by Di Biagio. Players in support here. One of them is Rakoba. Now it's Koi. Well, for a moment he pulled the trigger back there. Not known for his goal scoring record, Benoit Koi. Yet to score in Serie A this season. Tried to feed Zamorano. Di Biagio again at the heart of things for Inter. Stankovic. Good ball, Sensini for Pankaro. Mihalovic. Five minutes left then, as any stoppage time, Stefano Brasci deems to allow. Inter still leading through a 19th minute strike from Alvaro Rakoba. In real time, they threatened the Lazio goal. 
Lazio have had a number of good opportunities. Down goes Salas. Referee's decision is what? Free kick. And look how close that is for what would have been a penalty. Now, cards coming out here. Last man sending off for Cordoba. Well, he was the last man with Salas. I'd like to see that one again. But a red card has been shown here for Ivan Cordoba, the Colombian international. Now, what did you make of that? That is very harsh. If anything, it seemed to be Salas who was leaning into Cordoba for me. And not only have Lazio got a free kick in a very promising position, they have now got a man advantage. Ivan Cordoba has been sent off, and no wonder he looks distraught. That's not a good decision. It really isn't. Look at this. Whichever angle you look at it, it looks like an inter-free kick. And he has to go. $15 million signing from the Argentinian club San Lorenzo earlier in the campaign. Ivan Cordoba disconsolately walks off. And can only bemoan his luck. Because that was not a foul for me from the Inter defender. And it's a big, big decision, isn't it? And the old shake-up for the Scudetto in the top flight of Italian football this season. It could be such an important decision. Roberto Baggio looking on. And now Mihalovic from almost an exact position from which he hit his earlier free kick into the wall. And this will really be cruel. This will add insult to injury if Mihalovic scores from this. Mihalovic then. Well, he's not happy with the positioning of the wall. And it's going to be a yellow card for Mihalovic. Well, he didn't think the wall was the necessary yardage back there. So a yellow card for the Yugoslav international. It's all happening here in the Olympic Stadium in Rome. Well, they broke clearly, didn't they, before he struck it. Referee still in earnest conversation with a number of Lazio players. He's struggling to make himself heard at the moment. And Mihalovic still looms ominously for Inter over this free kick. Mihalovic to strike again the wall, Mihalovic again! Now, to take a deflection, it did. Well, you don't often get away with two bites of the cherry with this fella, but they did. And they deserved it. Inter shouldn't have been a free kick and should not have been a sending off. In comes the corner, hooked away by Di Biagio. We'll just be happy to get to half-time now, Inter, for sure. And a big task on now with a man disadvantaged. Goes Nedved, wins a good header. Salas climbing with Peruzzi bravely. Goalkeeper just did enough. And that'll be a throw to Inter. Good climb by Salas, not much of him, but he got up early. Veron linking with Salas. Shows too much of that to Simic. Nice header down by Sensini to Pancoro. Veron, well, he telegraphed that, didn't he? Sold off with the intentions there of Juan Veron, who's won it back from the Dutchman. And that's a foul by Seidorf on Nedved. Just a little frustrated, Seidorf, not making the best of the opportunity a few seconds earlier. And to stop his time then at the end of a curious first half. Inter with so little of the possession. 
Still leading Lazio in by Mihailovic. Turuzzi looking to get a second bite. He hasn't got there and they're all over. But he took a fearful whack on his shin. And the players are not best happy with Benoit Coe's challenge there. Least of all, Veron, who felt the weight of it. But Mihailovic's ball in was a danger to that inter-defence. Poruzzi got a hand to it, tried to gather it the second attempt. And in comes Koe. Oh, he was lunging, wasn't he? And Veron was happy to get most of his body out of the way of that. And he was still caught in the end by Koe. But the attention to the French midfielder who was going to be booked for the challenge meant that Veron's shot flew over the top. Will there be a couple of minutes more stoppage time, I would think. But the referee has given a free kick. So Mihailovic has yet another opportunity. Now, by his standards, the old law of averages from his free kicks, this one ought to go in. He's had two opportunities and can he make the third one count Sinisa Mihalovic and again the wall did the job full credit to the massed ranks of yellow shirts in there he's not put the old shooting boots on tonight so far but Sinisa Mihalovic it's not a good clearance from the back here's Veron good ball Nedved support from Pankaro teasing ball in free and the top Simeone didn't he attack it well though teasing ball in from Pacaro and he should have done better Simeone free header should have had that on target Salas got the call from the Argentinian and he couldn't get up and over the ball enough it was the last action of the first half there's the man who's got the only goal the Uruguayan international, Alvaro Recoba. And disappointed, as well they might be, Lazio players at the end of the first half here. They've had so much of the play. Nedved missed a good early opportunity. So early or Boxic were going to be used as a striking partner for Salas from the start. As it turned out, neither were. But Ravanelli gets his opportunity now in place of Simeone. Inter have the same complement out for the start of the second half as they did at first whistle. But apart from Cordoba, let's not forget his sending off, which was the real talking point just before half time when the Colombian international was sent off in bizarre circumstances, really, because I think we all saw from the replay it looked more like he was being fouled by Salas than vice versa. And it was deemed to be a professional foul by Cordoba. He was the last man on Salas. The referee Stefano Brasci waved a red card in his face. And the Colombian had to walk. And so, Peruzzi and company have a man disadvantage for the second half. And certainly that was in the thinking of Sven Goran Eriksson I think now they've got the man advantage you can afford to get Ravanelli on and play in a more adventurous mode with the front two what will happen now in particular is that Rakova will probably drop a little bit deeper in this second half for Inter and leave Zamorano on his own up front we'll see how it pans out And Serena has come on at the start of the second half for Inter. Haven't spotted that one initially. Serena wearing six. Looks to me as if it. And we'll just check on who's gone off in just a moment or two's time for Inter. Not that obvious at the moment. Here's Veron to strike. One fizzed over the top, but it's um, certainly Serena is now playing at uh, left wing back for Inter. It may be that Lippi's doing away with the wing back and centre back system now. Zanetti has gone over to the right side, and Panucci has now gone in alongside Laurent Blanc. 
and it's Rakova, the player who has made way. And so Zamorano is certainly on his own up front for this second half. And that's a foul on Negro. Simic. Tankaro. Just looking at the way Inter lining up. They still look as though they've got the uh, wing back and centre back system in operation. Tanucci, Blanc, and Simic, the three centre backs with Zanetti right side and Serena now on the left. Good work here by Tankaro, hooked away by Koi. Salas. Salas again. Curious ball. And the backtrack was very on. Here's Sensini. Some work to do here to try and find Ravanelli. Ball ricochets away off an Inter player and out for a Lazio corner. Inter looking incidentally for their first win in the league. Away to Lazio for some four seasons. 1-0 on that occasion in 96, thanks to a Nesta own goal. Interesting corner, picking out Veron. Loses out tamely in the end to Blanc. Into looking for a swift counter-attack here, Seedorf. All the way back with Turizzi. Sides do 1 1 at the uh, San Siro earlier in this Serie A campaign. Goals on that occasion from Zamorano and Tankero. But Rakova, the man who's given way tactically at half time, it's no slight on his performance. His goal after 19 minutes still separates them here in the Olympic Stadium in Rome. At the moment, Inter and Kofi pretty well with a man disadvantage. Here's Seidel. It's curious, isn't it? They're seeing more of the ball with 10 than they were with 11. Work that one out if you can. A good uh, throw out by Marcus Gianni. It's it back off. His teammate who will put in a lot of pressure, under a lot of pressure, Pankaro. This is Veron. He can switch the point of attack here. And Giuseppe Pankaro. Salas looking to poach. Marco Gianni. No. Another Peruzzi. Not ready to let him do so. Pass by Mihailovic. Simone and Zabi going through his uh, stretching us exercises on the touchline there. And then there's a part to play for him. Not a good back pass to Peruzzi, but he had time ahead of Salas. This kick by Serena. And Stankovic has had the ball pinched off him by Simic, who's continued his run, receives again from Seydorf. In towards Zamorano, first to it was Koei. The shot, with some steam behind it, from Di Biagio, who can really hit them. It was a bit of... <laughs> now what did Koei trip over? Thin air, it would appear. Negro, Ravanelli, Stankovic, shooting opportunity maybe, goes for the cross, real chance here, it's been no great save, Peruzzi. What an opportunity it's seen for Pavel Nedved, lovely cushion header down from Salas and isn't that brave and effective goalkeeping. Look how Peruzzi made himself big and brave and denied Nedved. 
Corner for Mihailovic. Ravanelli couldn't get ahead onto it. Attack the dead head again. Must be offside. Three, take your pick. But a vital save from one of the best in the business. And here we look again at the offside. Could go down as a very crucial stop that from Angelo Puruzzi. That's a foul by Stankovic on Soleni. Free kick then for Inter. Seidorf. Usual fine close control from the Dutchman. Di Viaggio to Laurel Blanc. Coe will leave that for Seidorf intelligently so. Di Viaggio, nice inter passing here from 10 man into Zanetti. Di Viaggio, excellent running off the ball. Promising move this from the visitors, but Ramonelli's back to tidy up for Lazio. Dejan Stankovic. Rather an ambitious ball, offered no scope at all to Pankaro. Usual. Excellent work rate that Lippi's had out of uh, Di Biagio. Not many players in Serie A get through as much work as he does. He's in there again. This is Negro. Oh, just struggling to find some rhythm at the moment, that's here. And he's a cool, calm customer normally, Ericsson, and the body language suggests he's maintained that. He must be very frustrated. Zanetti. Held up by Pankaro, forward by Mihailovic. That's a better pass this time for Nedvin. Ravanelli. Nedvin's gone on ahead of him. Salas. Fair challenge by Simic, the referee, who again was well positioned. Here's Pavel Nedvin. Support from the fullback. Pankaro. Decent ball in. Ravanelli's had it. Just eluded Salas, who was coming in at the far post. Great ball in from Pankaro. Ravanelli's header is the cross to the fullback. Very difficult to defend against. Ravanelli attacked it well at the near post, and lucky not to divert it straight into goal. And Salas couldn't get there. Well, they're bound to make opportunities in the second half. Lazio and into. I we'll feel that they might need the cushion of a second goal if they found it on a counter-attack. I think that's the way the second half's going to shape up. Mostly Lazio possession again, into looking for the sharp breaks. Veron. Lots of space here for Paolo Negro. Ravanelli. Not a sure first touch from Fabrizio Ravanelli. Seidorf. Lovely turn, beautifully done by Clarence Seidorf. And Zamorano's done well to hold that up for Zanetti. Coe's well forward here. Here's Zamorano again, out to Zanetti. Coe just on the edge of the penalty area, waiting for a cross. Zanetti looking to provide it. Too strong for Benoit Coe. Lots to admire in that earlier movement from Clarence Seidorf. Supremely well balanced player. And still only 23. Hard to believe. Seems to have been around forever. In his debut for Ajax at 16. Here's Salas, he's outside. Ravanelli! Another vital stop from Peruzzi. Salas was onside. Fed Ravanelli brilliantly. Little look up. Unselfish of Salas, the angle wide for him, not for Ravanelli. Vital block from Peruzzi. Two really good stops now for the Inter goalkeeper. Ninth Lazio corner, Mihailovic delivers. 
There's a push. And a little bit of respite for an overwork into defence. Ravadelli must have thought he was a certain scorer there. But Angelo Peruzzi finding the sort of goalkeeping that helped take Juventus to three titles in five seasons before his move last summer to Inter. Good run here by Stankovic. Away by Simic. Seedorf doing well again against Varon. Nice work from Inter. Zanetti. Panucci. Not a good ball from Ravanelli. Mihalovic. It's time and space for the Yugoslav international. It's for one of those raking balls forward. Salas giving chase, but right down the throat of Peruzzi. Sergio Cragnotti in the grey hair behind the man with the black cap, the president of Lazio. Didn't spend much in the summer, only $76 million. Not much by Lazio's recent standards. Contrast that with $150 million that Inter have spent since the end of last season. What a turnaround in personnel. Lippi has brought in 20 players and no less than 25 have left in that time. It's virtually a completely new side as Inter chased their first Scudetto since 89. Veron. Ball's found its way here to Negro. Ravanelli. Negro in space for the return. In comes a cross. Oh, it's Laurent Blanc who gets an important test to that. Out as far as Veron. Nedved looking to turn. No! Like to see that from the camera behind the goal. It didn't miss by very much, did it? Pavel Nedved. In fact, it was Stakovic who turned on the edge of the area. And it was, what, a couple of yards away in the end. And a bit more, maybe. But it was a sweet turn from Dejan Stakovic. This time, Peruzzi not called into action. Zamorano having words with Nesta. Velo, Tankaro on his outside, ignored for the time being. Veron looks right side for the galloping figure of Negro. <laughs> Throw in conceded by Serena. Veron. Oh, and uh, taken at the second attempt by Peruzzi. Looked rather casual there as the cross was whipped in by Veron. Nesta. Negro, and he's done well. Good running here from Stankovic. Serena trapped back with him well there. Still only 21, Dan Stankovic, former Red Star Belgrade player. Which future he's got ahead of him. It's a relatively young Lazio side, only Marcus Yali and Mihalovic are beyond the age of 30 there's a lot more to come from this Lazio side it's such a big big talented squad Mihalovic's corner Ravanelli almost on his knees found the header into the path of Negro somehow managed to perfect the trick Mihalovic he too unorthodox but it's found its way to Veron Tankaro 
Lots of space here now for the cross from Nedved. Five white shirts inside the penalty area. Town as far as Beron to hit. Well, not a bad try, but it's asking a lot to beat Peruzzi from that range. Juan Beron. Got it down quickly and got over the volley as best he could. Forward by Nesta. Game chase from Ravanelli, but never likely to reach that one. Zanetti. Now Perucci. Here's Seidorf. Serena. Coy. Clarence Seidorf. Confident into passing from Inter. Have they over elaborated there? Here's Veron. Lazio waiting to make a substitution. Look, beautifully taken by Salas. He was unlucky. He was unlucky there. Marcelo Salas. Right recover in the first half. He took that beautifully in his stride, but just found himself with his back to goal, unlike Rakoba, to score the only goal of the night so far in the 19th minute of the first half for Inter. Goal scorer since replaced at half time. Or 10 man Inter. He joined us late on ESPN. Ivan Cordoba was sent off just before half time. One of the most bizarre decisions I've seen for a long time. And it looked like he was being fouled by Salas. Decision went against Cordoba. He was the last man challenging on the edge of the penalty area with Salas. It was deemed to be a professional foul. That's a corner of Simic. Maxio still waiting to make the switch. Finding that time for the moment. Salas wondering if there's a 12th Serie A goal for him here. Now the change will come. Sensini coming off. And the Portuguese international Sergio Conceição will come on. Inter will have every reason to fear him. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Mihailovic with a corner. Scuffed it rather. Made life easy for Di Biagio with a header clear. Conceição or rather Nesta. And that ball's out of play. It's going to be a Lazio throw. Still a calm exterior and inside. His blood will be boiling and he knows how important this game is. Sven Goran Eriksson, the Lazio coach. Here's Pacaro linking with Conceição. Serena attacked the header well. Back out with Pancaro again. Now it's Conceição. Looks to go on the outside of Zanetti. Not many get past the Argentinian. It's another Lazio corner. They're 12th to Inter's one. The throw-in has been given. It looked initially as if the ball had gone out for a corner. They worked the throw-in pretty well. And there's space here for the shot. Oh, Salas in the way. And the spectacular bicycle kick. Just wouldn't come off for Stankovic. Well, look, goal bound. Conceição shot. No, it was going wide, but Salas got on the way of it. It was almost a good pass in the end for Stankovic. Here's Pankaro. You sense a Lazio equaliser. Here's Salas. Did well to keep it in, but there's nobody really in support. Zamorano just need a couple of players to hold the ball up now and earn a little bit of space to gather breath for that increasingly overworked inter defence foul given here against Nedved. The reason I was mentioning uh, Inter have reason to fear Conceição is because he scored in uh, both league encounters against Inter last season. 
in one of those games. Amazing 5-3 Lazio win in the San Siro. Game in which Concesa scored twice. In the season before last, he also scored in the 1998. Or rather, he was on the receiving end of Inter's 3-0 win against Lazio in the 1998 UEFA Cup final. Can Concesa make a difference here? In possession now. Vero. Kick forward. Header one. Well by Stankovic. Cleared by Carucci. Here's Vero. And afforded some space. Thinks about the shot. Drives it in. Good save. Touch on the rebound. Really fiercely driven here by Verona. And a great stop by Peruzzi. I wonder if Ravinelli might have been offside as Salas. Oh, look at that strong hand again by Peruzzi. Took the smearest of deflections off Laurent Blanc. And Salas looked to have a great chance here, and he did have a good chance. And scuffed his attempt. Here's Concesa. Good ball. Pacaro looking to measure the cross. Salas. Oh, he took that off the head of Ravinelli, who probably was better positioned. Did Salas get the call from Ravinelli? No doubt that the man they call the white feather here in Italy was better placed. Sado. So Inter will be quite happy to have possession inside the Lazio half for a change. Seidorf looking for Zamorano, comfortable header back from Negro to Marco Gianni. Sergio Concesao. He's got away from Zanetti here, has he? Oh. That looked a little late from Di Biagio. Painful one for Conceição. They hurt. A little stamp there. Throw-in's been taken quickly, though. No foul was given there for the challenge. Forward by Negro. The idea was right. Just a little bit too much purchase on the through ball. And Inter really in in debt to their goalkeeper Puruzzi, that's three brilliant saves he's made now in this second half a couple of notable ones too in the first Seidor Panucci a rare misplaced pass from Seidor Remember the positionings at the top of the Serie A table, Juventus 53 points, Lazio second, 49. Right behind them, their opponents tonight, Inter on 46. So, an Inter win tonight. And by my reckoning, they will go ahead of Lazio by virtue of a superior goal difference. Will be level on points, 49 apiece, but still some way to go. Pecoro! And again, Turuzzi's got every angle covered. Hit this well on the run, the fullback. Turuzzi again called into action. Pecoro's cross. But the whistle is gone. Salas will not get the goal. And offside against Ravinelli, quite clearly there. He was half a metre or so offside. As we stop the picture there, you can quite clearly see the right half of Ravinelli is offside. Disappointment for Salas.
Negro. Well, I'll give him again Stankovic. Done pretty well, Serena, since he came on. Down that left hand side, Sade off to Zamorano, Di Viaggio. And now Panucci. Oh, gifted cheaply back to Lazio by Inter. Here's Conceição. Locks coming down that left hand side for Lazio at the moment. Down goes Ned Bed. Referee again right on the spot said no free kick. Zanetti. A bit of a missed kick there by Panucci. More assured touch by Pankaro, who receives again from Veron. Good defending by Zanetti. Pinched here by Mihalovic. Pinched back by Inter. Sedov. Lovely layoff. Di Biagio, that's lovely play by Inter. Space here now for Koei. Sedov wants the early ball forward. And they just found themselves on the wrong wavelength there. And they got three forward to good effect, Inter. Empty climax to what was an excellent break. Here come Lazio, meanwhile. And again, as he often is, Laurent Blanc in the right place for Inter. Di Biagio. That's a foul. Dive in there by Pankaro. Didn't really need to dive in there, the fullback. Just need to jockey Zanetti. Double substitution being made here now. And we're going to see Paolo Negro replaced by Simone Inzaghi. So clearly Sven Goran Eriksson wants more firepower up there. Inter are going to make a change of their own too. They're bringing on a defender in Polonese. So the clear intent there, more defensive cover for Inter. And more Lazio hope, striking power in the shape of Simone Inzaghi. Zanetti is the player who's made way, incidentally, for Polonese. Offside against Inter. It's a throw to Lazio. Sorry, I do apologise, I uh, misled you a moment or two ago. It's not uh, Zanetti who's gone off. It appears to be Koei. Just looking around. This is Nesta. And a throw in favour of Lazio. Seemed to be a heavy touch off Nesta there. Serena arguing the situation with the referee's assistant. This is Pankaro. Stankovic. Nedved looking for the cross. Provides it to Ravanelli. Difficult to get any purchase on the header there. At the angle of his body. It's a nice ball in from Pavel Nedved. A routine for Peruzzi. Di Biagio. Oh, lovely vision. Zamorano wants the ball early. Almost received it from Perucci. Tancro in the way, importantly for Lazio. And the threat is still there from 10 man Inter when they do counter attack. Such a nice axis about that midfield of Sadov on the ball here and Di Biagio. Gets away from Tancro. Good work again by Clarence Sadov. Away by Nesta. Simic, under pressure from Laurent Bloch's pass. 
The throw will go Inter's way. Di Biagio. Sarena. Zamorano. Good goal scoring form of late. Three goals in the last four games for Ivan Zamorano. Still the only goal of the game, 19th minute of the first half. Really fine strike from Alvaro Rakobo, who was replaced at half time by the coach Lippi there. Wonder how many of those cigars he gets through in a season. In the 90 minutes. Conceição switch flanks and he's done well against Serena. Now he needs a good cross and he couldn't provide it. He had so many to hit there in white shirts, Sergio Conceição. Seidorf won't give any, up any lost causes there. Mihalovic across with the covering tackle. Here's the earlier good work from Conceição, like the fortune of the ricochet. It was a very, very disappointing result in cross. Zanetti, lots of space here for Panucci. Whips in the cross. Look at Seidorf here now, they're not getting to him. Chance to set it up. Chance for 2 now. a goal! Di Biagio! The man who used to ply his trade with Lazio when he was a youngster only got one Serie A appearance in Lazio colours. Then he moved to the arch enemy Roma and had four years here in the Olympic Stadium in Rome. And joyous scenes on the terraces occupied by Inter fans. Only his second Serie A goal of the season and a big, big goal this is. Marcus Gianni couldn't get there, Panucci's ball in, but look at the space here initially for Sedor. Right flank of that Lazio defence, nowhere, I'm not quite sure where Negro was supposed to be. And Di Biagio squeezed it in, action initially off Pancaro. Fingertips from Marcus Gianni, 2-0 Inter. Well, they've had to work hard defensively. They've had to rely on outstanding stops from Peruzzi. But they have been a threat when they have got forward on occasions. And Di Biagio made the chance count. Oh, what a disappointing last few weeks for Lazio. There's still time for them to make a recovery here, foul. Tripped by Ravanelli. But they've taken only two points from the last nine in the Champions League. The league form hasn't been entirely shabby. Just the one defeat in the last uh, seven. That coming away against Milan. And now it's the other Milan club, Inter, who've got distance between themselves and Lazio through Di Biagio's goal. Veron. Comfortable header away for Simic. Fanucci. All the noise being made by the travelling fans from Milan. Seidor tussling here with Francesao and ball against Clarence Seidor. Another industrious performance though from the man bought for $15 million from Real Madrid. And what a good capture he's been for Inter. Nedve. Onside here. Pancaro feels for handball. Is there any way past this into goalkeeper? Seemingly not. It's his night, all right. Another good Lazio move. 
Ankaro's done well in the second half, almost like a left winger at times. Here's Zanetti. Strong run for midfield, Javier Zanetti. Well, he had every right to think that Seydolf was going to be in support here. It looked like a, an arm there by Pancaro, got away with it. Excellent work again by Peruzzi. Veron. Pancaro. Attacking Perucci. Oh, he's got clear of Perucci. Chance here! Off the ball! Lazio get one back. Simone Inzaghi was there to poach. The substitute has only been on for a few minutes. It might even be his first touch. But they got a little bit of fortune here. Finally, Peruzzi beaten. Stankovic onto the bar. Pankaro's cross in here. Goalkeeper out of the feet. Stankovic got the touch. And there was Inzaghi to put the ball in. And Lazio have a lifeline. Should be in for a storming finish now. Forward by Panucci. Cut out by Nesta. Strong run from the back from the Lazio captain. He's continued his run forward. Ravinelli. Space here for Stankovic. Conceição looking to attack Serena. Got a yard for the cross. Good one in! And the whistle in evidence. Salas challenging with Puruzzi. And the free kick has been given against the Chilean now. It was. Well, I'm not sure there was too much uh, in the challenge from Salas here. Might have been a suggestion of a push by Laurent Blanc. Teasing ball in by Conceição. Don't think there's too much wrong in that challenge from Marcelo Salas. In fact, the free kick wasn't given. It went out for a goal kick. Zamorano, meantime. Is coming off to be replaced by Adrian Mutu, the Romanian. Signed uh, back in January from Dinuo Bucharest. And five minutes left for Lazio to get back on terms, or perhaps even better. Mutu offside. Not keen to give the ball back to Conceição. Temper's getting somewhat free. As you might expect in the heat of such an important fixture. Sado. Challenge, a bit of afters there for the earlier altercation between Conceição and Mutu. Here's the Romanian again. Was he tipped by Nesta? Yes, says the referee. Nesta thought it was a the old dive off the high board here from Mutu. Seidor with the free kick. Inter looking to get the goal, which will certainly end the contest in Inter's favour. Seed off then. Well, he was ambitious, but eats up a few more vital seconds. Pankaro. Nedved. Might think about the shot here. Out for a corner. To be sure that Mihalovic will get forward to take it. Well, he's received from the corner. Didn't get time to get up to take it. Peruzzi's block. Into player well placed to hack it clear. Oh, 
Good ball, Nesta to Conceição. Decent cross in. Good header by Laurent Blanc above Ravanelli. Here's Juan Verón. Tancaro. Strong finish to Lazio. In comes across, Conceição outstretched. Hooked away. Desperate defending now from Inter. No offside here, and Pruzzi's out. And there's a real opportunity, Pancaro! What a good finish by the fullback! And what a great comeback by Lazio! And the noise is deafening inside the Olympic Stadium in Rome. Ten man Inter have been able, unable to hold out. Peruzzi made the block on Inzaghi. He still had a lot to do. Pancaro. But what about that for a finish from a fullback? You can see how tight the angle is. Laurent Blanc desperately looking to get back on the line. And Pancaro's finish was unerring. His third Serie A goal of the season, and such a crucial one. And from 2-0 down, Inter are back on terms. You have to feel a little bit of sympathy for Angelo Peruzzi. He's been brilliant in that Inter goal. It's been his saves that's kept Lazio out. He got a touch ahead of Inzaghi. But it wouldn't fall this time to a yellow shirt. Injured in the process. As we view it again. And Pancaro kept his head. Steady nerve. And found the top corner. And there's still time for either side to pinch it. Peruzzi looks as though he's going to be fit to continue. And is. And Inter have been afforded a free kick. Tankaro's goal coming just two minutes of time. And there'll be a little bit of stoppage time to add on. A bit more of it now after Peruzzi's injury. But full credit to Lazio pilloried somewhat for their performances against Bayern in the Champions League but there's still heart and there's still character in their ranks foul given against Nedved storming match rich in entertainment I'm sure like me you've enjoyed it foul on Mutu three minutes of additional time to be added on Seidorf over the free kick, looks as though he's going to tee it up for Luigi Di Biagio. And he can really thump them, Di Biagio. Number 23, waiting to come on for the touch from Seidorf. Di Biagio then to hit. Forcing a save out of Marcus Yanni. And has the presence of mind to get there and gather it a second attempt. Nesta. Cacophony of sound now inside the Olympic Stadium, urging Lazio on to a winner. Pancaro. Down goes Salas, no question of a foul. Sedor, not a good pass. Stankovic. Ravanelli. Conceição. Trying to buy himself the yardage of space to get the ball in. Took the ricochet, it's in there. Pruzzi opts to punch and picks up Di Biagio. That was uh, a bit angry, the challenge by Mutu. Not very well received by Mihalovic. He takes a free kick quickly. Here come Lazio again. And it's away by Pinucci. It's a Lazio throw. Veron. Pancaro. And there's some pushing going on inside the penalty area. And it's uh, 
welcome decision for Ted Manning to grab an early demand and maybe to Inzaghi involved in some pushing there. But we're into the last minute of stoppage time. Another thrilling match from Serie A in Italy. The best action week in, week out here on ESPN. 1-0 for Inter at half-time, goal from Recoba after Cordoba was bizarrely and very harshly sent off in the closing minutes of the first half for an alleged foul, I use the word alleged markedly and uh, that uh, foul given on Salas and a red card for Cordoba but Di Biagio getting a second goal in the second half it looked like Inter were on the way to a, an unlikely victory but full credit to Lazio for the comeback. Goals for Inzaghi and Pancaro. Here's Veron. And the referee has allowed virtually exactly three minutes of stoppage time at the end. And honours even. And one or two tempers being lost as well at the end. Panucci and Inzaghi getting involved. Referee looking to separate them at the finish.